Well, good morning, everybody. It's the Sound Couple. Today is Sunday, and we are heading off to a Sunday afternoon wedding, providing support for a 10-piece band, and we have an hour and a half to get this system up and going. What happened is that they were planning the wedding outdoors. We received an email last night that they are now moving the wedding indoors in the location that the band's going to be playing, so it doesn't make sense for us to get there as at the time we would like to typically we like at least two to three hours for setup T today we're going to have an hour and a half to get it all up and going we haven't been at this venue before um, so hopefully the logistics will work in our favor where we can actually pull this off i don't know what to, what we're going to say or do to change any of this it just uh, definitely impacts the production side of it. And, uh, you know, we're pretty quick, but yeah, it's, yeah, I gotta move over here. Um, we're not gonna get probably much opportunity to do any setup video just because we're gonna be under the gun to get this going. So we'll check in with you later. service road to the left. So I'm wondering if that's around there. Yep. Probably. Yep. sidewalk is uh, or is it, is it there probably there is my guess yeah I think you're right yes yep. I see a ceremony going on yep well here we are well, considering folks. the situation we we lucked out um, we are going to load in right through that door. The service is going on. Uh, we talked to a couple of the caterers. I was able to go in through this door and peek my head through and see where the stage is. The stage is right against this wall. Um, so that's as close, that's close. And we were able to pull right up here. I think we're going to pull this off, Stace. Um, you know, I think the advantage to the system that we carry is that it does allow us to get up in 45 minutes to an hour and a half. Yep sure does so we're gonna keep moving so stacy doesn't freeze to death because she's looking <laughs> like it's winter out here when couldn't have gone any better than that uh, we got lucky you just never know when you know haven't been to a venue you don't know quite things are gonna be laid out but considering the circumstances of how we had to work it doesn't get any better than this if i'm not too worried or pressure feel pressured that we're not gonna make it 43. We gotta be up an hour and 20 minutes. A little bit after 1.30 already. We are all lines run, everything's up. No lights yet. We'll determine and kind of getting ready to do some line checks here. So they're just labeled red, red, white, blue. So red, white, blue. Two, 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 one, two, one, two. Check, 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 two, one, two. Check, check, two. Two, two, one, two, 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 two. Check, check, check. Why don't I? I'd like to take a moment and recap the issue here. So what was going on at this point is I was line checking the drums and in this particular instance, the kick drum, and I wasn't hearing the kick drum out of the mains. Now I assign all my channels to subgroups. And if you look closely at this picture, you will see that SB 13 or subgroup 13 was turned all the way down. And 
once I, I figured that out once I routed the kick back to the main again and then I realized that it was my subgroups that were down so how did I get myself in this situation well typically when I'm prepping for a gig and we prep for all gigs I'll link to the video here I typically start with my default project scene template in this case I didn't instead what I did is I selected the project that I had for this group and I reset just the scene instead however what I neglected to do was turn off the appropriate filters that I needed to maintain a couple of the key settings that I would need or would desire for this gig number one is the mix level filter the mix level filter will prevent your master sends from being reset and uh, since I did not do that, they all went back down to, to zero. The other filter that I neglected in this case is the effects type settings. I didn't notice this until later on, actually into the gig. We were kind of going on the fly, and uh, my effects just weren't sounding what I was accustomed to. And then that light bulb went out from my head, and I went to the effects settings and found, the, yep, they were set back to factory default. So I was able to remedy that by going back into my presets for my effects and setting them appropriately. So just these two little settings um, didn't cause super big issues, but when we are in a hurry, uh, as you can tell in this video or this portion of the video, those little things add up and if, if anything just cause a little extra stress that we all like to avoid if possible. <laughs> I don't know. I'm loving this early game. I'm having some issues. Okay, once I the kick, just one more time. Okay, thank you. Uh. Whenever you're ready. Uh, did you did you mic, uh, wipe those mics down? Okay, it is 1:48, and we got everything going, up and running. Just head to the restroom. Got the band set up. A few couple more chunks to make, and we'll be ready to rock.
kind of a small Oh my gosh. doing an idiot check. It only looks much different without the stage, but it's 7.43 uh, and we are done. Is the bathroom still available over there? Okay. Hey everyone, there's Paisley Park, the home of Prince. We are on our way home. That's kind of a cool shot. Yeah. Yeah. Better than in the daylight. Uh, well, hey, tonight, uh, or today actually, <laughs> I, yeah, it was kind of a weird, felt weird, uh, but it it was a good gig. As you saw, we were kind of scrunched for time up front, but we got through it. We got set up. Thankfully, it was an easier load in, and we were we weren't we weren't blocked. We got everything on the carts. Uh, the biggest issue we had tonight was our wireless came back. I think Stacy probably shot a little video this morning where or today where the iPad, you know, iPad was having any issues. So then I got my Surface out and that was doing a little bit better, but that was having issues too. And what's strange about it is that we were kind of in the middle of nowhere. I mean, it was the, not nowhere, but it was, there wasn't anything close. There was a lot of fields. So I don't know if there was something in that building that was just blasting, but I scanned uh, two times for different channels, yes. I think. Yep. And, uh, you know, we, it wasn't perfect. It got better. But uh, that was the strangest thing. Just wasn't expecting it at a location like that. Uh, the band was good. Uh, really good. I mean, th this was an A band. The singers, everything. The drummer uh, the, the drummer played to the room. Yeah, you know, that's... This, this was another room where it looked pretty, but sounded crappy. Reminded us again of how the drums are just key to managing the the success of being able to mix you know it was a bigger band was able to mi actually mix them uh the drummers we, we had him on in ear he, he played the room and i think i was talking to the bass player who was the leader of, of this group and uh that is the key play the room uh, we've dealt with a couple of bands where it was this balls to the walls, way too loud. 
uh, struggling to mix, struggling with monitors. Tonight was absolutely perfect. Everybody behaved. The guitar player was great. Bass player, and then it starts with the drums. And then the horns are kind of going to be the horns, but they, they held it in check too. So have a great night, and we'll see you soon.